So are you thinking about moving to Santa Maria, California? In this video, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through Santa Maria, California. We're going to drive down. We're going to check out some of the neighborhoods, the airport. We're going to talk about homeowners associations and everything else you need to know about Santa Maria. So if you stick around to the very end, I'm going to share one of the best kept secrets about Santa Maria. So you definitely don't want to miss that out. I'm going to get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about moving to Santa Maria, California, then hit the subscribe below and the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when I post information about the market in Santa Maria, California. So my name is Bruce Carson I'm with Keller Williams Realty Central Coast, and I get calls from people like you every single day, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, just give me a call, shoot me a text or an email, and all my information is in the description below. So I can help you with a smooth move to Santa Maria. That's it, resign. Okay, so we are now uh, driving southbound Highway 101 from San Luis Obispo County into Santa Barbara County in Santa Maria. We actually have a little bit of water down there. That's the Santa Maria River. You can tell that at one point that actually did flow like a real legit river because it cut. Uh, I cut the hills there. So, um, welcome to Santa Barbara County in Santa Maria. And we're going to catch up uh, a little bit later on. We're crossing the county line right now at the end of the bridge. Okay, so uh, downtown work it. That's where I am today. Wanted to bring you all the way down to the southern part of Santa Maria and show you uh, old school work it. It's uh, around noontime in the middle of the week, so it's about uh, the typical traffic level. But you know, downtown Oregon is just a, a really cool and quaint place uh, to come and hang out. We have, uh, you know, the cellars and the Orchid Square. Uh, there's a, some great restaurants uh, down the street here in Old Orchid. And this is really, really a big uh, attraction point for the southern part of Santa Maria. So we're right at the south, down uh, the street. There's Highway 135, and then that picks up and it goes right down uh, to uh, the Vanbury Air Force Base or Space Force Base uh, in Lompoc, and then to the other side going up this way. We're going to be looking at uh, the newer part of Orchid, but it still uh, has kind of the small town feel. Now, when we're down here at Orchid, we're looking at real estate. The reason why Orchid is so appealing to people, one is, you know, this cute downtown area. It's a uh, cute point. It's almost like, you know, Cambria and some of our northern uh, San Luis Obispo uh, little towns. But also, Orchid has very large lots for uh, their homes. So these homes back here, a lot of these, uh, these smaller homes, let's go take a peek here, uh, they have really big lots. And so down here in the southern part of uh, Santa Maria, northern part of Santa Barbara County, uh, the big lots are really popular for a few different reasons. People like to have their boats and their RVs and have that additional parking on the big lots. And then also we do see, and you keep hearing me talk about uh, the fact that uh, accessory dwelling units are really big uh, all over Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo County. Well, we're no stranger here 
uh, in Orchid, uh, again, at the, here at the market. But uh, these folks, with the, they have the big lots, so they'll put in an accessory dwelling unit and turn that into an income generating property. So you can buy a small house and make it bigger. Or you can buy, you know, a small house with a big lot and put some additional dwelling units on there and make yourself some money. You know, you might as well take advantage of the property and the large properties down here in Orchid, California. So we're going to go move on to the next neighborhood up here in Santa Maria. Okay, so it's a little bit quieter here. So now I'm uh, in, still in Orchid. I'm in the older, the southern part of Orchid. Uh, this particular uh, neighborhood, the street names uh, are people names. So uh, I just sold a house up here on David uh, road. So I'm pretty familiar with the neighborhood. But anyway, I just wanted to walk you through. So Orchid, you know, it's older. You can see these homes are uh, probably built in the 70s, maybe the early 80s. But I wanted to point out, so what's happening here in Santa Maria, you see uh, the RVs, you see all the, all the cars uh, parked on the street. Uh, Santa Maria is a big RV town. I don't know if people just like to get out of town or they happen to have extra money to have all the, all the RVs, but you can kind of see the RVs and the, and the cars parked out along the street all around me. So this is pretty typical in Santa Maria and it's something that I wanted to, uh, to bring up is the homeowner associations of Santa Maria. So when you're looking for homes here in Santa Maria, having a homeowner's association is not a bad thing at all. And I'm using this uh, trailer that's parked uh, on the side of the road intentionally for a background because uh, here in Santa Maria, uh, some streets and some parts of Santa Maria have homeowners associations and others do not. The homeowners association fees are usually pretty low, hovering around 50 bucks in the 40 and $50 range. But what that HOA does is it keeps stuff like this trailer off the street. So if you're paying uh, a homeowners association, and I'll show you another street, because it changes really block to block. Uh, it changes a lot here in Santa Maria. But uh, when you pay that homeowners association, a lot of times that means that we're not going to have all these cars parked along the street. So this street isn't too bad. There are uh, quite a few cars parked on the street. But uh, we do see in Santa Maria when we have uh, multi-generational homes that people are actually parking uh, lots of cars up on the lawn and all over the property and all over the street. But if there's an HOA, that HOA keeps those cars off of the street. That makes it so you're going to get a ticket or you're going to get towed. So... An HOA, a homeowners association, it's a small little fee here in Santa Maria. Not necessarily a bad thing. It could be really good for you and your neighbors. All right, so now I'm still in Orchid. I went uh, just across Clark Avenue and I'm really close to Highway 101 just to, uh, to my left here. But I do want to point out that there's a lot of uh, affordable areas. Like, look at this uh, here in uh, Orchid. This is a 55 plus community of manufactured homes. So these manufactured homes, you can see they're most of them are, are older, single wide homes. So very, very affordable. And the space rent, when you buy a manufactured home, more often than not, you're going to be paying 
space rent, meaning that you're buying the coach or the manufactured home, but you're not buying the dirt that's underneath it. So you're actually paying uh, to rent the dirt. So this is a really good example. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, location right off the 101 in southern Santa Maria. So this is right off of Clark Avenue. Uh, so we go from a uh, super nice uh, old orchid uh, to some beautiful new homes that are happening uh, down here. And then this really affordable uh, park here in Orchid in Santa Maria. All right, so now I am coming to you from the airport in Santa Maria. So the airport is in the southern part of Santa Maria, uh, and you don't have to come through town. You can actually take uh, Highway 101 and get pretty close uh, to right here where I am now. So the airport is, I mean, it's pretty small, I think, right now. We are only flying to Las Vegas, and then you can get your connecting flights uh, from McCarran there in Las Vegas. But the point is, now at the Santa Maria Airport, all of this parking is free. So free parking at the Santa Maria Airport, that is an absolutely beautiful thing. So that's another, like, feather in Santa Maria's cap. Free parking at the airport. Ah, here we are, the mall, the town center mall. Yes, Santa Maria. We have to come down here to Santa Barbara County and Santa Maria to enjoy a real legit ball. Like we have Macy's, that's your Red Robin. I don't have time to go inside and show you around. But we have movies and food and all kinds of mall stuff. Yes, you can experience the mall here on the Central Coast. Just come to Santa Maria right off of Main Street here, Santa Maria Town Center.